The energy industry in the world is fundamentally changing over the next, call it 20 years. What's fascinating is this is something we can see ahead of us. Typically, when you hear about these revolutions that happen, they're always in the rear mirror. It's like, you know, when the PC came, you know, when, when Apple came up with a PC and, you know, they had the idea everybody will have a PC and people wondered what the hell would I need a computer in my home for, etc. A lot of people ask me, oh, you're in solar, so you guys install rooftop solar systems. This is about large scale power plants powering the entire economy and industry. There was the age of coal, then we kind of entered the age of oil, where, where oil still is, you know, one of the major sources of energy. Now we're in the age of gas, more or less, today. Gas is going to stay with us for probably quite a while, and renewables in various forms are taking over. There's, you know, there's obviously solar, but there's also other renewables. The United States is in a very unique position for this revolution because you have to be able to finance it. We also happen to be in one of the best places on the planet in terms of solar radiation. If you took a 30 by 30 mile square in the middle of Texas, that receives enough energy to power the entire United States. You'd have to use today's technology to actually turn that into electricity that we can use. And with today's technology, that would be about a 75 by 75 mile square. In an airplane, that would take you 10 minutes to fly over. Today, we're below wholesale natural gas. What that means, wholesale natural gas, means a big gas-fired power plant. We beat them. This is a computer chip technology. And it's on a cost curve like computer chips are. They just get better, faster, and cheaper all the time. That is why this is a revolution. Storage technology, too, is getting cheaper. The beauty, and that's important to understand, you know, wind, for example, is very cheap, but you may have three weeks of no wind. How, how do you store that? You know, that, that becomes ridiculously expensive. The sun comes up every morning. Your iPhone will tell you exactly when. Um, there may be some clouds because the technology is getting so cheap, you can overbuild it so you can power the entire grid even with clouds and then on sunny days you store the energy. You can do things like desalination. There's now plans to look into that. Interestingly enough, sunshine countries, usually water problems. Well, those are perfect solutions. Our reliability, I can tell you on July 4th of this year, within 2% exactly how much power we will produce. Gas-fired power plant can't do that because if they have a turbine down for maintenance, they may lose 200 megawatts on their power plant. I may have an inverter blow up, I lose 1%. We've developed the world's largest power plant. It's on 6,000 acres of land. It's eight miles long. Today, we power about a million people in San Diego. And by the time it'll be fully completed, it'll be two million people. The power plant that we're building right now, just north of Mojave, will power about a million people here in Los Angeles um, by the end of this year. Construction is going to be completed in, uh, in October. So that's a million people. 